Another day, another lot of... Well, do they really see? What? Oh, you... Hello, welcome Evening. to the Lotus. Any weapons, items, or consumes? Only wallet. Okay, click. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Uh, do you want to go into the bar? Uh, I don't mind doing this. Oh. Oh. Good to see you again. Hmm, hello, Otto. I assume a lot of people are at this cat place. Oh my god. Most likely. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, it's quiet, it's not quiet. It's not quiet and it's not quiet, eh? Hmm. Well, who knows? After all, the place just opened. I always arrive just on the time they opened. Hmm. Oh, they have been. They've been experimenting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Things terraforming. Hmm. Oh, I see someone is at the bar. I'm gonna get my drink and come back. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good. Thank you. After all, I don't have anything else to order. I'll take that bar. Same here. I actually don't know where to go. Hello, Jess. May I have a green tea? Yes. Here you go. Here are the credits. Thank you. Have a good Enjoy. rest. Yeah, have a good rest of the night. You too. Hmm. I've been experimenting with terraforming stuff. Currently, I'm trying to see if different alien plants could thrive on this world. Hmm. See what I can come up with. I could put something good. Then it may improve life, not for just people here, but other races. Hmm. Alien races, maybe for six. After all, home away from home. And I am so far from home. Hmm. <laughs> Just make sure when you try something that is not from this ecosystem, at first try to isolate it. I am, I'm making sure it's isolated. I found a nice location where it's surrounded by mountains and canyons. Good place to make a sort of sanctuary. But for precautions, I will add shield generators and fields of areas where those plants can't move on to to invade other hmm. maybe an invasive species and all that. Hmm. And though I'm technically introducing an invasive species by doing the terraform. Hmm. Technically, we're all invasive species. Hmm. 
creatures that were more intelligent. Some and mm. plants or some of the animals and you be surprised. That considered invasive species. Plants can be smart. Especially trees. Yes, indeed. Considering some of the races, one of the category races that my people know is plantoid. Living mm. plants. I can even use spaceships. Quite interesting. Mm. Though they are more peaceful minded. Mm. They much rather not go into conflict or even try to injure any conflict. Mm. But that doesn't really keep them safe from getting caught in the crossfire conflict. As many species would some have the same fate of this crossfire, even my own. Hmm. But there is a light in good news. Once the crossfire is over, you can make a decision. Either join this side, join that side, or pick in the middle, the neutral ground. Attempt to live your life knowing that there are two sides fighting each other, and there's a possibility that you'll get caught in the crossfire once again. Hmm. Well, that applies to almost any neutral party. So, always in the middle of something. Spence good, Spence bad. Other times, uh, at times, some may say it is the right thing to run away from the conflict, both options, to try to get away from it, stop trying to be in the middle. I know a few factions and people and species that have taken that fourth path. Mm. And they haven't been seen since as well. They may have isolated. Mm. They would rather not go into any more. Unfortunately, conflict is also part of the life. It is. You can r I try to run from it, but it will eventually catch up. No, it's kind of conflict is part of life. Mm. Mm. Always part of it. No matter conflict, failure, success, victory, losing, whatever it is, it's part of life and you can't really get rid of it. Mm. It's gonna catch up with you, that or it's still with you and you just don't notice. Or you fail to notice. Which is ironic when you fail to notice failure. Hmm. But then again, if you notice your failure and acknowledge it, you can improve yourself. Yes. And then the life cycle continues on. Hmm. Failure, win, failure, win, neutral, failure, win. Constant change. Hmm. Cycle of conflict. Hans, there is always the good news and the bad news of the cycle of change. The bad news is that, well, they're changing and you don't know if this is going to be the good path or the bad path. You don't know. Uh, now people may see you, or they see you as some hero, heroically going to save that princess in that tower. Or will they see you the overlord villain? Mm. Then again, that has also always been a good question. 
because every person sees good and evil in different ways. To some, someone is good, but to someone else, he is evil. To us, and, and it's actually seen as well in my people. You see, we Vigarians, uh, back in the day, in the past, a bunch of those years ago, there are many different races, species, and different worlds. One such race we know of called the Nevchiks. They're a sort of sign-based race. Ish. Mm. Let's just say they have an appetite for recipients. Uh, but here's th we did not like this because they started doing that to our own people when we believed that they were going to allow us to colonize some of their controlled worlds as a sort of treaty agreement. But in fact, it was the opposite. Now, we see them as evil. We saw them as worms. We believed creatures trying to ruin the lives of others. But there was a sort of thin reality that we did not notice. That we did notice after a certain event of the book. It was an ideal notice after a certain event where we shamefully destroyed their home world. We did not know was that their species, the reason why their species was constantly feeding was overpopulation. They were starving. And they did what they had to, what was necessary for their survival. And we didn't understand that. We did find out small pockets of hives and the nut chicks were only eating non-sentient, like favorite animals and all that, but the distinguishing between sentient and non-sentient is quite hard. Which causes them to have a bad poop and, well, starve. There are trees made here and there. We agreed to assist them in only giving them what we believe were non sentient like animals and all that stuff. And then there was a slight moon of peace, but there was a tension there because, well, no one can really forgive another person for destroying their home world. And, well, their home world wasn't the only world my people nor other people destroyed. Yeah. The intro was where the first ones actually built the first plant cracker. We just stole schematics from them. Oh, my two best friends, the depression and uh, my anxiety. <laughs> I'll be right back. We need some drink. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's, let's just say we were working on a new device, a sort of orb, if you will. This orb, probably powered by a single iridium crystal, could rebuild an entire planet once and only once. It was in development many times, and we used it on the Nevchik's homeworld first, because, hmm. well, Want to give them their homeworld back. It worked. Their homeworld was safe now. But problem after problem with the setback. Such powerful device. Very powerful. Very dangerous. It can be used for good things and bad things. People could terraform worlds that shouldn't be terraformed. Yeah, the lie took a little too long, but I'm gonna be here with you guys. I'm just kidding. You guys just lied, you know. Friends, someone I used to lie. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, we decide to hide these or terraforming or things inside each and every vault. The Kokorians made the vault, so we knew that they were safe. 
because uh, the Korians are very secretive. They like to hide their bolts into places where you can't find them. You need a little like, a map or something to find them easily. Which we've done those two. But anyway, we hit those along with many other dangerous technologies that we had made. But there was one type of technology that we could not hide in fear that if someone were to find the map, they would find that certain device. So we scattered the pieces all across the universe. Hmm. Called, it was called Nova Horizon. A weapon that could literally destroy life in the entire galaxy, possibly several others, if put on max power. Hmm. After the second shot it was made, we used it as bait to keep make an enemy come towards us with the call the corrupted. After that, it's like a fucking candy. But they're crunchies. After that, we sent the uh, pieces of the weapon scattered across the universe, yada yada yada. And now they're somewhere out there, pieces of a very dangerous weapon. Oh boy. Sometimes I wonder if one of those pieces will end up here. Though when I was quarter of years ago, those pieces are probably buried inside of a core or something. Hmm. Most likely. Fossilized somewhere. But nothing is impossible. There is always a chance that they will appear. Yeah. Well, luckily, you have to. Basically, collect all the pieces to rebuild this boy. Mm. So, so each piece has a sort of, uh, how should I put, a beacon of sorts. It would give you a slight hint as to where the other pieces are. We only did that as a precaution in case the great enemy known as the Corrupted returned. Hmm. Only as a precaution. Hmm. And now, if if someone else finds it. It will feel like it's Gray's mistake we have a probably made. Let's either way. Those weapons are probably long gone, and I doubt anyone will find one anytime soon. Hmm. And though. Uh... There always is the stories, of course. Hey guys, I'm bringing back with my assistant. So, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. Please don't say something boring. We're oh, it's getting boring. Down. Just, Mitten, can you can stay here a little bit and have fun with them? I'm gonna be right back. Oh my god, I'm gonna need some oh, drink sure. right now. Sure. Um, how's it going, gentlemen? Hello. Hmm. Have a great night tonight. Just... Anyway, yeah, kind of. Anyway, it's all about the Nova Horizon weapon and all that shit. Besides that, terrible stuff's going good, and yada yada yada. How's your freaking workaholic life? It is going. Ah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it is going. It, it, it's, it, it's having gone down your case about. Please tell me someone told you or forcibly told you to go on a break. Oh, Definitely. right. Apparently we now have schedules. We have, ske we have schedules now. Okay, it's been like... Yes. Almost a year since the nook has been open. Mm -hmm. And you finally have schedules for your workers? Yep, and I still... Still, it will be weird to have a 45 minute shift, and after that, it's like, what am I doing? <laughs> it's like, huh. Yes, what are you doing? What is life? Hmm. Man. Anyway, life is what you make it. Very interesting flavor. Yeah, true. Shot of vodka. Wow. So we should all have a good time, right? Take it easy. Maybe they could put Let's not kill each other and fight. <gasps> Get drunk instead. Shades with vodka. That sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't that increase the fighting and yelling? If you get drunk. Oh, yeah, there are angry drunks. 
Mm-hmm. Well, then they can't drink, but they can do other stuff that doesn't make them angry. Oh, like that is ever word. But you forget one thing, my friends. There's always someone out there that's going to get angry at the littlest things. Well, they should take it easy then. Chill out. You should, you, you should know that they're. Okay, you. Okay, nearly half the people in the metaverse don't know what the hell the word chill out means, so. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, if you want peace, it's something you, you have to work for, you know? You can't just yeah. say, oh, I'm going to yeah. get angry, and then I'm going to get peace. Sadly, there's the saying, if you want peace, prepare for war. Yeah, I don't believe that. It kind of is true. I mean, Every war true, that's happened in history has made be. peace. I don't worry about that. Peace and war. Different sides of the same coin in the end. Yeah, one's useless and the other one is the best. Technically, war is useless. And it's I mean, it's sure. Sense. But... I don't know, can we just like play checkers or something? Sadly, checkers is a strategic thing. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea why it is. It's along with chess and everything else. I have no idea. Hmm. Well, chess is um, basically um, basically a war itself, if you think a little bit under it. So. <laughs> True, yeah. <sighs> You're really tired from me. Life is getting to me. Mm. Where someone look like, you know, like a priest, and I come to them and tell them, like, Father, Son, and House of Gucci, and I don't know what happened to them, so. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know, there's a priest over there. I thought, you know, he using the power of Jesus to help us. So if I told him, like, if Jesus doesn't oh, work out, then pray for House of Gucci. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. But you always got to keep your options open. Yeah. Well, that it doesn't work out, then you know, pray for Satan. So that's the only option we, you know, <laughs> last option. Sadly, the only quote unquote gods that my people worship are war gods, so. Mm. I think God is overrated, so I'm good with God. Hmm. For one, so I think I God is different things for different people. Yes, that's why it's called religion. Yeah. And it's bullshit. Yeah. Ah, if it's not religion, it's something else. I mean, you said it yourself. War is a necessity. If you're not going to be fighting over religion, mm. you're going to be fighting over who took and the last cookie or something. That or fighting for survival or fighting for... Your quote unquote people. Man. I mean, you could say that you're fighting for your people, but that's total bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. your people that are making you fight. It's the saying, fight for the people. Or, well, your leaders that are telling you to fight and telling them telling you that you're fighting for the people. Yeah, it's always the people who don't have skin in the game that are calling the shots. Yeah. And there's always that one one speck of a person that's capable of leading troops, and they end up dying first. Yeah. Heroes don't get well. Nuclear. That's why places like this exist, yeah. so you can forget about all that. You know what's funny? The crystal that actually stops us from using magic and stuff, or that converts you to your like, a form to like your human and all that, 
as you know, my my people actually developed something similar, but instead of rendering you to a human, it drains you, it drains a magic user of their abilities and powers. I'd like, in other words, sucking the life out of them. Forcing yeah, them to stop using uh, their powers, and if they do use their powers, it's gonna hurt. It. Oh yeah, it was meant for. It was meant for uh primitive societies and if they got restless we would use that on them and force them to be more deep. that was the dark days of our people those type of things are only used for emergencies now gotcha because well my people don't really use magic so seeing magic users is quite uh not unnerving or anything like that. It's caution. Basically, we don't know what you could be capable of, and we want to be cautious around everyone, especially everyone who's using magic. Like, uh, we'd much rather not have a giant tree sprout up out of nowhere inside of the middle of a city. Mm. We would probably think the one the terraforming generates is probably going on the whack. Mm. Well. I will tell you, if you ever see me doing magic, it's not real. Okay. You're saying that in the Don't metaverse. Don't tell anybody. You, know, you, 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 you do know you're saying this in the metaverse, right? Where it's just, no, magic it's... is literally everywhere. No, no, but, but my magic isn't real. Okay. But don't tell anybody, because Ooh. one of these days Ooh, I'm going to do a show on that stage, and I'm going to tell everybody that there's, I'm going to perform there's, there's, magic. There's one problem. Huh. You quite literally said that out loud in the middle of public. Ah, nobody heard me. Yeah, nobody heard you. Yeah. Hey, and, hey. you know, that he's trustworthy. Hello, pussy. He lent me 20 credits. I know. I... I was talking about the person who was sitting on the table right over there. Oh, I didn't. Damn. Oh. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, hello. Hi. God damn it, uh, My name's Mittens. Nice to meet you. I'm a professional assistant and a magician. Um, it's it's real magic. But don't, don't tell anybody, okay? <sighs> Got it. I knew uh, I could trust you. What, what, what's your name? I'm, I... I think they're mute. Never mind, they're not mute. Hmm. Huh? I'm already seeing him Wait, going... Wait, can we speak common? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't understand, but, um... I think they speak common. I believe we don't have a translator. It's actually, wait, I do have a translator. It only works on actual known races and languages. And, um, I hope you enjoy your drink. It does also work on unknown languages. It's just that it takes time. Like, it needs, like, more than, like, a sentence or a paragraph. Okay, I, I got I that handled. I don't think they spoke common. Well, I met a new person then. Kind of. Yes. Hmm. Either way. Wait, how many people went to that damn calf? I mean, wait, how long ago did this place open? I think 31 months ago. Yeah. 31 months ago. Hmm? Yeah, man. So. Yeah. Place must be bumping. The calf? Yeah. I've been there once, yeah. but uh I've yet to be there. It's it's a pretty nice place. It's pretty chill over there. Describe please. Well there's like fishes in the ceiling. I see. Like fishes. really chill, you know, they're like swimming around. That They've got seems great quite... food. I can do. And drinks. 
and there's a cat and i'm going to assume they have food and drinks yeah, yeah. there's also a cat and i'm going to assume they have seats yeah yeah okay, uh, take and it's, it's a more sensors. relaxed more relaxed atmosphere than than this technically this place is supposed to be also relaxed well yeah but this but is then like again, kinda... This is also a place that where people do business, in a way. Yeah, and I mean, it's like all the tall buildings around, and you know, the whole yeah, it's like it's like a thing. Very, very businessy. Very, very. I'm going to do. Right, I'm right. going to talk to people. Yada yada yada. The, the cast is more small town. Yeah. So where is the cap located anyway? Um. I forgot the name of the place. No, no, it's not in Zephyra. Oh, it's not in Zephyra City at all. No, so I believe it's on all on the I Sark. forgot the name. Land of Sokka, that far away. Hmm. Mm, yeah. I don't even know where all on the Sokka is. <laughs> so I can't even visit Sokka either. So I don't know where it is. <laughs> I do have a map though. And I have heard people talk about it already, so I Kind yes, of can people talk all on the soccer all the time. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a very cultural place. Even though this is a giant freaking mega city on top of a mega city on top of a mega city, you would think this is a very cultural place. But I'm feeling it's not. Too corporate. Yeah. There's a soccer, lot of though, powerful like people. And Land Saka, though, sounds like a place where there's culture and singing. Hell, if there's a festival there, I wouldn't be surprised. Eh, from what I heard, they have, I mean, uh, they have their own problems. Different problems, but I would assume they both have their own problems and them being a city and considering there's several wars going on. Yeah. Maybe they apologize the last time he played as an issue. Everyone has their own issues. It's dealing with those issues is the question. So, good news is that some people have decided to deal with My lovely assistant, can you get me a new wine? This wine already finished. I want another one. Thank you. Actually, throw this one for me and get a new one for me. Oh, no. Thank you, thank you. Hold it. Or throw oh, no, it away. just throw that. Okay, throw okay. that one away and get a new one. I'm not gonna be drinking the same glass. It's gross. And also someone drink gotcha. it on that one, so we exchange saliva. You got it, Miss Eight. Hello. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, no, oh my not... god, is that you're, the you're most not... handsome... Who said that? Oh, the, oh, blonde bitch, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I have a name. <laughs> you, can you I, call me I told you, can I call you blonde bitch? And you was like, yes, just call me that. You say yes. No, you said... Are you Jazz's blonde bitch? And I was like, sure, why not? Okay, then what should I call my you? Name. My name is Clover. Hi. Hello, Miss A. Okay. I already Hi. know your name. Hi. Yes. Hi, I'm very popular. A lot of people want, you know, to know me because I'm very, you know, cool, you know, cool girl, you know. Just let you know. Yeah, that very cool. Regina George, you know, kind of, kind of that vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember you well, mostly as a llama. Yeah, that's one, and uh, last week I'm getting drunk on that side with a bunch of wine, you know, a couple of things. You are, Missy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my uh, lovely yes. assistant. You're amazing. I think people like to have more no problem. Mm -hmm. Wow, you got people getting stuff, huh? Well, you know, I'm just that girl. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to do that in the Lotus, though. That's the funny thing. Oh, well, whatever. Oh no, that, I pay for I, that him. was for me, I just let her have it. Mm. <laughs> I pay for him. I pay him, you know, his, you know, his, you know, salary and stuff, so... Anyway. Anything <laughs> interesting going on? Um, I date with Gary. I date Gary. Oh, okay. That's one of the... Oh, okay. had. Nope, returning to well, conversation. Have you dated Gary? <laughs> have you seen Gary? Gary? Have you seen him upstairs? Nope, not today. You should go see Gary. Like, uh, like almost immediately, you should go see Gary because there's something wrong with Wait, Gary. Wait, he upstairs? Yeah, he's upstairs. Okay, oh, okay. if I recall really my dream. What is wrong with him? Uh, no, the problem is that he's acting not like Gary. 
Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Let's the girl handle the, this one. Frederick, hold my drink. Clover, how was my boob? Is it yeah. squeezed together or not? What? No, they're fine. You're good. They're nice. Okay, got it. Uh, oh, Mr. Clover. Am I look good? Uh, Am I look good, uh, Mitten? You, you look excellent, Miss H. Okay, thank uh, you. Uh, you. Uh, you look terrible. I'm gonna always. come with you. Um, mm. yeah. I mean, if you want to do that first, go ahead. No, okay. No, no, no. Uh, you not good with uh silver hair, and you uh. What? Look fine, Arthur. Okay, let's go. Wait, is he upstairs? Oh, ran out of time. Anyway, I'm I've always been wondering what. What part of Sephira City are we in? Like, are we in mid Sephira? Mm -hmm. Close to high? Well, I mean, I see no sky, the... but I also see... I also see no buildings continuing upwards, so... I think we are in the upper parts of the lower, which would technically be middle. That is my assumption, at the very well, least. Are the hell the extra buildings? I would assume there would be more buildings that are blocking out the sky. There's... Oh, there apparently is a plate and not an, another city above us. Oh, that's just the freaking bottom surface of it then. Yes. Like the roof. It's probably oh boy. Because I can feel a connection. It's just probably. <sighs> oh well. Under a lot of stress and pain, I can feel myself in a connection. <sighs> It was beautiful and well worth my time in quarantine. Mm. I've sometimes just been conscious of it. Oh well. However, it is true that Gary has been off lately. Oh, that's both true, but... Oh. I never met this Gary before. You described him, didn't you? White hair, uh, blue, blue, um... Uh, well, blue, um, blue... I, I have no... that person over there? Yes, <laughs> it is that person over there. Gary the Goose. Oh, oh him! Mm. Yes, I think I've met him once or twice. Mm. Though I did not look like this when I came. Yes. I first met him when he was still a goose. Away from him. I believe it was a conversation to bit about Thief in Onsen. Did something happen between now and the hot springs with you? Hmm. And what is that? What does that mean? Did what happened mean anything to you? Do you remember any of that? That's still in there. Seems like it did the other night. You had a great time. I, I, it looked genuine to me. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I brought I brought her back to you. Here she is. What happened? Oh, nothing. I was just talking to her in private. Hmm. Is everything okay? I hope yeah, you feel okay. better, Gary, yeah, because I mean, what's going on you know, with you? She's a really nice lady. You should, you should at least give that a chance. I, I, I don't know what's going on with you. When I said away from you, I didn't mean like anything specific. I just meant you were the only person here. I could have worded it better. 
Kids these days, always something going on with all of them. Always. Bad day. People forget our work. Shout me up there. I learned the missing game. Um, metal. Lower jaw metal. Like mecha metal. Uh, ugly shit. If you got the power and then a few other things, what happens? Just let me know if you get tired or I can always fix your hair. He has a little bit of knowledge. You see the guy in the yellow hat near the bar. <laughs> it's better to not get involved with him too much. Okay. You say that to seven, you should be deaf of Yes, I know. But that is what it is. Oh. That is my opinion on that. So what has brought this opinion up? You could say bedroom or the most like the fold. But still. Have you heard them? Yep. Long time ago. Well, something about hallucinations. And not to speak. The more decent I've ever. Hmm. Always the topic when something goes wrong. That's really old. That's clown. People say they're gonna bring order to this world that end up bringing only chaos. Yeah. Well, my first bad uncle told mm. us when I introduced myself to him. I know that experience. Hmm. But not even the good kind of chaos. Yeah. I've spoken to Ryoto. Uh, I think it was a week ago. Without me trying to rejoin. Set up for a boat. I do not think I told him that he and the guild can go without the boat yet because I'm still believing something was my fault. But right now I'm starting to think if I continue to say that what has happened in the Silver Trail Guild was my fault. People may use that to advantage against me, try to guilt me. Mm. Actions require things. So I will have an action. I'll speak to Ryoto one more time. Tell him they can go ahead and vote. At least to get the uh, thought of whether or not I will be accepted or not. Or be able to return or not. Mm. At least that question can be lifted off my mind. Well, that is up for them then. We'll see if that <laughs> goes that way. If it goes bad and they don't, I'm not a so not allowed in, the vote goes bad. Mm. And I will accept it. After all, the veil was not my first path. I had many others. It was just another road. A long ass freaking highway. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, 
That's a rare sight. That's a rare sight to see most couples without their loved ones. No. No. It is somewhat. Sometimes it's best not to see a two person people together for a long time mm. because that can also go to a certain disadvantage. If that other person has enemies, then what better way to attack your enemy than go after the one they chose? There are times. There are times that this is. What happens when you don't look both ways across the street? I guess. It's been a while. Why'd you do that? Well, considering all the drinks that have happened in this city, I have a bucket of wine. But I guess my favorite expression is his occupation. What is his occupation? Horse occupation? Everything's going to be fine. And what wins? Sounds like he's a looks like he's a businessman of sorts. Like nearly everyone here looks like a businessman and seriously. He physically can't. So it's not really his I would be freaking probably as a businessman or a college student, I don't know. If I didn't have a alien fix. And by that code they must live and die and kill and fight. Mm. And inflict suffering. Uh, the young women get boxed. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I still haven't been sober up very much yet. <laughs> Red wine always stains me. That's not a thing. That sure does. Because he should be on a good path. How have you been? Always Russian. The world's not gonna die yet. Until some cosmic person decides to say, fuck it, I'm gonna make the world blow up. Robot designation. That's my mother. He grabbed my woman when I left. He's a great idea. Eventually. I'm picking some here. Transmutation. At least I have some world out there. I'm an alien. I can go to any world, technically. I want. It won't really matter. Which world I go to. Not this time. Wait, did you get taller or what? Okay. It's so, so he's freaking ghost here. Did you guys just do business in the establishment? I think that's illegal. Sorry. Done much worse.
to brag about. I, I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I should just bring a Gagarin book, just lie on the toy right here and just, and just start reading it. And if anyone looks at it, I say, uh, you can't read it because it's Gagarin and you don't know Gagarin. <laughs> Perfect disguise. Because no one knows my own damn language. Ah, uh, yes. Except for one person, Elizabeth, wherever she is. And I would really teach others, but I doubt anyone here is willing to learn a different language. Yeah. I'm just one. Have you ever read an encrypted book that has contained multiple languages in multiple different Keys, so to say. Files hmm. never a good decipher, so I never actually look at them. So I saw them, gave it to our, our tech person, and they looked it over. It was either during missions of high importance, if we were trying to secure data on something. Hmm. Try reading freaking Nevchuk's Koskarian and Eyeless One on one page. That's yeah, fucking hard. Because really <laughs> one species has like mistil, mist like forms. One has like, like the, someone used to put a dagger and just stabbed it. And one. One is just goo. It's like splatters. Like ink splatters. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, yeah. Try, try, trying to decipher that. It's hard as hell. Especially when you have multiple different races, and sometimes those races have similar forms of characters in their language, so it gets kind of hard. Trying to decipher what's unless you know the species, of course. Which language is which? Hmm. <laughs> Other words. And for example, you could be reading a Vigarian book, not knowing it's actually a Clectorian book. Hmm. I can see that. Both races have similar. Both races have similar characters because both races are technically the same. Hmm. Though one managed to evolve on another planet because an incident happened long ago. And while well, teleportation, they evolved there, we evolved on our home world. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I guess that goes same with the elves. There's so many different kind of elves. They all yeah, speak the same, but 
they might be friendly. Yeah, it's very weird. Hmm. Speak the same, yet they write differently. It's very weird. They're all the same race, though, and yet they can't write similar. They don't make sense. Some cases, it's tradition, some cases, paranoia against others. Either way. So it seems. Always with all the tall people, me too. Hmm. And there's mistake crying. Thank you so much, sweetie. Hold on, let me take a seat. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay. It's obviously she's obviously crawling over here. I'm gonna see you in a couple minutes later if I bore. Okay? Now just let me, you know. <laughs> I Congrats. am excited. Don't worry, if you're just hit me up. I got you. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, this is not too depressed. I want super <laughs> depressed. I want super depressed that people always want to look at me. I will just look at I don't get into the team damn chair, god damn it. Mm. <laughs> you don't need to cry. What do you mean? He's not the Gary that I used to know. Now he just, you know. AKA second. I'm trying to eat a cosmic grilled cheese sandwich and freezing that keeps booing me. Not a good one. What is Gary? Gary changes very much. That cosmic grilled cheese sandwich. Very interesting. Yes, it is no longer. I'm depressed. Gary look different right now and, and again behind all of this, as I said problem something. and morticians okay. in the same sentence yet again okay. so what okay why he choose this way and without telling me anything because I told you already, Gary was talking to another woman. No. And Gary didn't even tell that woman. I told this woman. Yeah, drinking games with like. Myron, tell me. You say it, and I suggest you come ask him. I'm coming to table until I hear from him. Not until they've come out from under the table. Come out from under the table and ask Myron. I'm you. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I was about to suggest we get we get Luna to assist. I say getting out from under the table. But I don't think I want I I don't want Luna to get tortured today. <laughs> hmm. Especially yeah, now Luna. But there's no Ryoto. Yes. Seems to be missing a lot of counterparts, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess it's I guess it's go on your own Thursday or something like that. I mean, I understand me being without my counterpart because she has to live in the forest area. She can't really live here. I want to hear, I want to hear Byron. Not that I can. Guys, move away. From I what I, I have gathered, Thank you. usually the pairs also need their own time sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, one of those. I know that oh, that's interesting. Right, that's a, you know, make it a different. And you weren't at the top of the hill. <laughs> No. <laughs> I heard that. Shut up. <laughs> you behind. Shut up. <laughs> and Gary did not care enough to influence anyone to hear him. Uh huh. 
this place, no? Yeah. This is one more interesting conversation that I actually ever heard. Kind of a split time, a split second decision. You saw that too, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, the fuck's decided to take that one? Voice. Fish, that's a slay. Question is, who's going to drive her back? Was she did drive herself or someone she came with? No, no, she's no, no, no. See, the one who told me before I got a date, he told me that. What did she tell me? Hold on, let me check a five minute remember. What did she tell me? She told me that. Okay, she know that I'm on a date with Gary. Oh, and no. she was like, oh, by the way, Miss A, just let you know, you know, uh, you dating Gary to miss someone in the super jealous. Evening, okay. Can I come over to Gary and slap him in his face? No, 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 that's not, not that, that's not good in public. I just remember. Bye bye. Next time. Gary is not on. He's coming to You're not kidding me! I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding you. Nothing about you is intimidating! I disagree. No! <sighs> Don't move! What are you doing? Besides, Miss A, you are friendly. Stop! Yeah, they're really, they're really helpful. I think he's doing really something really cosmic. Like, help! Help! <laughs> Literally do anything. Hey, you wanna go have a talk? Yeah. I would Oh. That explains it. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. You. Like, uh, oh, yeah, you. Perfect. Um, which one was them? Most likely. I'm gonna... Because that was the direction they were looking. <laughs> Plus, that is that would be the only st only thing that we could not see because of the wall. <laughs> not to mention, they said it is approaching. Uh, I think that's something. I think it's fuck out, Rick. I was gonna say it's left or something. Hmm. Most likely. Are you talking about the former? I mean, I think you really want that chance to see it. Don't forget to 
No, no, it's like to ask you in person. I, I would ask you to believe that you're an intimidating person before mm. you just said, and that I, I would agree with you. <laughs> and that qualifies as a definition of threatening. <laughs> okay, Fred, threatening, frightening, and you have that as that, that definition. No, 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 we are. Alrighty. It's nice seeing you again, Mark. Hmm. I'm gonna say goodbye to the others. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Go wandering now that the time at all has fallen to get back outside. And Alternatively, I hear that guy over there again in his old room. I don't know what his back is to do. I could explain, but uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, just yeah, like yeah. in that mellow state? See if I can find any interesting conversations. There's not too many of them, not too much. I don't see many individuals. I guess I could go and try. Oh, I see a flying orb. Let us go there then. The little speck on my eye, glowing. Where is it from? Unmistakable oh, halo on and the, the white dots yeah, here. Yeah. Right. That is correct. Something is happening. Hey. And it isn't nice. Hey. <sighs> Scary. Mm, it's different. <laughs> Usually, oh, there's a lot of drinks when it comes to the. It comes to the more appropriated places. But he has been on the move and did not order anything. Don't look like a shield to me. I guess you could say. I remember seeing someone jump in this. Not to handle. Where how to do this strange. Some crazy magical yeah. bullshit. Well, that was just playing a little. Yeah. Cool. I don't know what he wants us to talk about. Time. <laughs> cool. Yeah, don't worry, I won't give you shit. No, but I don't see any hypocrisy. Yeah, I know it's the same thing now. We don't think that we don't. You know, anything that actually involves gambling. 
Is there a restaurant that I've already checked? I haven't seen a single slot. Oh. I've already checked. Oh, I hate when people are talking about Shanky. People in public places. Ugh. Easy to tell that they are the right ones. Oh, this was happening. I am gonna turn around right away. I am not going to go near the mountain. Unless I like possibly do it. I'm gonna hear it put it back or just put it inside the Brooklyn map. I don't know about this point. I am just wandering around at this point. Just making sure, even if I see anyone anywhere. Don't see anyone. Not even me playing. Oh well. I guess I will. Quickly check on something. However, um, I was in Gonna quickly check on something. Then again, it is always a problem. Always has been, always will be unfixable. Well, don't need me to paint. I need to do the final round. Sorry, I must be blind. Around the place. Oh, you're fine. <sighs> and as usual, the Thursday is a little bit. <laughs> Dull? No. Oh, there's the silver hair. But that's none of my concern. Hmm. Oop, I guess I'm Feel my brain is all the time. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I can answer. We just happened to just lose a castle. Oh, oh. I'm leaving. Are you going? Yes, I am leaving. There you go. Oh, Hope you enjoyed yourself. Yes, I did. <laughs> Have I not dressed up the nay? Words. Is a whole bunch. My Don't go off the rails. Yeah, if you're 